What's going on, my dollar bills? D Money is back with more Vlogoween. In this video, I'm going to be counting down my top five favorite Halloween costumes that I have done. So starting off on this top five list of costumes that I have done is Blue Ninja. So this Blue Ninja, it was pretty cool. It I got it from, I believe it was the last costume that I bought from a Halloween store. The rest I have made or have bought online and edited. But uh, this costume, I thought it was pretty cool. It had designs on the back of the costume, which you don't normally see nowadays. It's all just done in the front. Cause I guess when you're trick-or-treating, no one's going to say, Alright, turn around, let me see all of your costumes. So, why is there the point? What's the point on putting design on the back of the costume? I, I get you now, companies. But anyways, this costume was pretty cool. I like being a ninja. Uh, I was a ninja for two years in a row. This, this costume was the last year I did. But... I still like it and it deserved a spot on my top 5 favorite. Number 4, Iron Man. I made this Iron Man costume out of catcher gear from baseball. I I had shin guards on my arms and my legs. I had the chest pad which I put one of these lights in there for the arc reactor. It, I spray painted it all. I got kung fu shoes and shoe goo uh, cardboard underneath them so that way my feet weren't exposed. And I got red, uh, a red shirt, red sweatpants, and I had a helmet from Hot Topic, which I still have. Uh, you might have seen it in some of my other videos hiding on my shelf up there. That costume was one of my favorites because it was one of the very first that I made myself. And it was so much fun. I, it was one of the first projects I've ever done with spray paint. And I, to this day, I still have some of that spray paint. I bought so much with it. It, it was such a fun thing to work on. but. Because it's so low on the list, the reason why it's so low on the list is because I didn't do anything on the back. I thought that the red clothing would work for that, but looking back at it, I realized I should have done something back there. Number three, the Amazing Spider-Man costume. This costume was the second costume that I have made. I bought the fabric online and then I spent three months puffy painting it, uh, trying to find good web shooters for it, attaching the web shooters, and replacing the mesh eye lenses with actual sunglass lenses, and then adding my own soles to the bottom of the shoes. I had to redesign a few parts of it, like the spider, and connect some of the webbing, but it was such a great suit. The uh, reason why that is on the top three is because it was very cold that Halloween. It was it was raining so hard that day. It I ended up being so soaked. It was cold. It it basically didn't keep me warm, and I didn't have any padding inside the soles of the. Sh of the uh, suit so my feet hurt a bit after all that the puffy paint shrunk the gloves that's one of the reasons why I haven't worn it again on my channel and the lenses because they were made from sunglasses they I couldn't see it at night I had my friend uh, tell me alright uh, we're gonna take a right up ahead uh, look out there's a couple puddles in front of you look out for uh, this rock in the lawn, and it, it wasn't that fun. 
but it was still a great costume and I love it. Number two is my Ben 10 Alien Force costume. This one was pretty easy to make, but it was it's so movie accurate. I'm not sure if you can see the movie poster back there. It's also a little uh, screen accurate for the uh, cartoon and it, it was so much fun to make. I got a pleather jacket shipped from Europe and I got to reuse one of my old Omnitrixes and I even carried around the holograms in my uh, jacket pocket and it was basically wearing my normal street clothes but with a few different touches and that jacket kept me warm it was raining a bit but not badly so it it's high on the list because I really like it it was it was very accurate and it kept me warm the only thing that wasn't so good about that warmth situation was my hands were cold and I didn't have gloves number one is Venom Venom it, it was an easy cosplay costume it I basically got a uh, Zentai suit online and I had to I basically replaced the mask with a rubber one that you've seen already on my channel a few times. Uh, got that mask from Hot Topic. You could get Anti-Venom and Carnage there too. And I also got to use my black sneakers, the same ones I used for my uh, Ben 10 suit. And I didn't have to get web shooters, but that suit looks so nice. It, it's tough to explain, but the reason why it's number one on my list is because it fits more into the Halloween theme than the other ones. The rest are superheroes and sort of do-gooders, but Halloween I feel like is more for the, uh, the crazies and the, uh, the bad guys and Venom. The mask definitely gave it that more oomph and... It was a little hard to see out of that mask too, but it worked better than the uh, Spider-Man mask. But it, the veins and the teeth and all the details on the mask making it scary looking. And I remember I even frightened a few kids with it, but it, it's so into the Halloween variety that it deserves a high ranking on this list. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more Vlogoween. Follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. And have a great Halloween and happy October.